Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to the soul that is given us together. Today, we'll be meditating upon how a simple act of kindness can change the course of our and other people's lives. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Second Kings chapter 5, verse 3 to 14. One day, the girl said to the mistress, I wish my master would go see the prophet of, in Samara. He would heal him of his leprosy. So Naam went down to the Jordan River and dipped himself seven times, as the man of God had instructed him, as his skin became as healthy as the skin of a young child, and he was healed. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. A 19th century writer provided a small and in all writings emphasized the importance of kindness. He even stated that three kings are important in the human life. The first is the, to be kind. The second is to be kind. The third is to be kind. We found the evidence of that all over the scriptures we have received in the Bible. Dozens of stories showing the act of kindness changed the stage of historical events. Thousands of years ago, a young slave girl also knew and showed the same importance of being kind. She was an Israelite girl who had been taken away from her family, carted off into a foreign land, and served as a slave to her enemies. Yet she felt great compassion for those who have enslaved her, even for the master of her household, Naaman, a man afflicted with leprosy. The truth is, most of us would probably enjoy some secret sense of satisfaction in seeing Naaman suffer. We think he simply was getting what he deserved, but the slave girl found no delight in Naaman's melody. Instead, she spoke wistfully of her, of healing for her oppressor. If only my master would see the prophet who was in Samaria, he would cure of his leprosy. God wants to use just as he used that humble slave girl to advance his kingdom, even to change history. We might not be rich, famous, powerful, or important, but if we're available, God can work through us to change situations in the hearts of individuals, even through a simple act of kindness. So today, start your day by praying to the Lord, asking him to give us a heart so we can show the kindness to others and what we have received from him. Look for an opportunity and ready to show the kindness to others around us. This message also is a promise today today. The promise is, those who are kind will benefit themselves, but cruel bring ruin on themselves. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, thank you for being so kind to us and giving us an opportunity to start fresh. As we start our day today, help us to show the same kindness to others what we have received from you. Help us to overcome our inner self and to be kind to those who are against us. Help us to show the kindness who oppresses us so we can show your presence in our lives. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.